This is a short video to show you how you can create an object in Blender that reflects the build volume of your printer. A lot of people seem to want this, even though it's not that useful because you can scale your object to any size anyway, but here we go. Let's delete the unnecessary objects in here and select this cube. So basically we're going to change the size of this cube to reflect the build volume of your printer. And we can do that in the end panel. So if we go over to the item section of the end panel and change the X, Y, and Z in the dimensions to match our printer. In my case, it's going to be a frozen Sonic Mini 4K. So here we have a nice big box which represents the build volume of a frozen Sonic Mini 4K. Here's a good opportunity to change the name of this cube and I will change it to the name of the printer. You could have multiple cubes of the correct dimensions for different printers in the same file. Now all we need to do is to select our cube, go into the Properties tab, down into Viewport Display, and change Display As to Bounds. And that's pretty much it. You now have a box that reflects your build volume in your printer. Now. If you want to use this in future projects, save it as another blend file into a location that you will find again and give it a sensible name. So let's start a new project. And I'll replace this cube with something a little bit more interesting, maybe a monkey. So you go into Append, find the file you saved before, go into Objects, select the Printer Cube, and Append. So here it is. And you have your object in the middle, which you can now scale, do whatever you want to, rotate it, and set it up properly for your 3D printer. So not so difficult after all. There you go.